Earlier this year, more than 1,000 people lost their homes in record-breaking wildfires here in Central Texas. Almost all of those homes were built either near heavily wooded areas or inside those areas. And now the city of Austin is looking at making some changes for those who choose to build their homes so close to wildfire fuel. KXAN City reporter Reagan Hackelman explains what the city wants to do. When Paul Robbins stands in his backyard, he sees more than 100 acres of charred trees and ash-covered ground. And when he looks at his neighbor's house, he sees only what's left, a slab. I think new homes and rebuilt homes should be required to build for fire. And the city of Austin agrees. The Austin Fire Department is in the early stages of adding some new rules to the fire code that could affect people whose homes are in or near wooded areas of town. Those rules could include changes to what materials are used to build homes near wildland areas, how much of a buffer is required between a home and the wildland area, what type of vegetation can be used, and the new rules could also require property owners to clear dead brush from the ground of wildland areas. And why now? Because the problem is persistent, it seems to be there, we need to address it. Otherwise, we stand to lose way more property. The problem, according to Assistant Fire Chief Harry Evans, is the fact that it looks like the Central Texas area will be seeing more and more fire seasons like the one we saw this year. Chief Evans says a fire this year in the Belvedere subdivision in Western Travis County is the perfect example of why changes to the code are needed. 600 acre fire. The fire uh, was, went through a green belt area that abutted those houses. Not a single home burned. Chief Evans says the fire department will be busy working with stakeholders trying to get these changes approved by the city council in time for next year's fire season. Robin says he's hopeful those changes become part of the code soon so nobody has to go through what he and his neighbors went through earlier this year. I'm glad some good has come of the damage and harm that occurred. Reagan Hackelman, KXAN News.